Hey, my name is April, and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. Welcome to my channel. So, today's video is part two of my little thrift store challenge. I picked up some shirts and stuff to DIY for my daughter for Halloween. I do not own like a silhouette or a cricket, a cricket. so I just kind of um, use the old school method and use some puff paint and stuff like that. So, if you're one of those moms that needs a quick Halloween shirt but does not own a silhouette or cricket, tune in and see what I make. Um, before you leave, please like and subscribe and can't wait to show you what I made. So right here I'm just gathering up all the shirts and the pair of leggings that I bought to DIY for my daughter. And I gathered my three colors of puff paint that I would need. Here I'm just showing you the images that I printed out to use for tracing on the t-shirt and leggings. Here I'm just cutting out the images that I printed out so I can lay them onto this t-shirt and trace. I highly suggest putting a layer in between your t-shirt, that way the puff paint won't like leak onto the other layer. And here I'm just starting out with my Mickey head that's going to be in the middle, that way I can have the best layout of, for the shirt. And here I just outlined the Mickey with the printable, and I am going to fill it in with puff paint. Usually, filling it in, I just squirt a little bit of puff paint and then I paint on the layer instead of making a thick paint puff layer. And here I decided to start with the V and I will just lay it down and trace it out with the puff paint. And here you just see me filling in the V, much like I did with the Mickey head. And behind my hand, you will see that I went ahead and placed the other Mickey head. And I didn't record it, but I put a bow on that Mickey head and made it into a mini. And now I'm just putting down a little bit of puff paint to fill in that mini head. And here's the shirt. It obviously says Boo, the little Mickey head and Minnie head. Uh, you can see a little bit of the outline is messed up, but nothing to worry about when she's wearing the shirt. So here I am taking my ghost Mickey and Minnie and outlining, outlining it with white puff paint. And after I paint on both of the Mickey slash Minnie ghost, I am taking the bow out, uh, the bow printable, and outlining it with orange paint. And in the background, you might be able to see in the top left corner that Emma is also working on her own little Halloween craft as I'm doing this.
here I'm just freehanding the Mickey head. Much like I did the mini head, I just added three ovals and a little smiley face. And here's her outfit all put together. The blue shirt is so cute and I definitely love the knee patch ghost Mickey and Minnie. So here I just drew out an oval for Jack's, a Jack skeleton face. You can see the little sayings that were previously on the shirt, but as you see, it is covered up by puff paint, so these stains did not bother me. So as you'll see, I did not film me placing on the Jack Skeleton face because I freehanded it, but you could definitely use a printable as well for that. So that was the three articles of clothing that I made my daughter for Halloween. Um, Comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. Or even if you had some of those like cheesy Halloween slash Christmas sweaters made out of puff paint. Hopefully this isn't as cheesy as those used to be. But um, please stick around and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.